What's going on with my office? If you're here, can you make the light flicker again? Is there something in this room? Hello? Can you please stop? I've never, never had the lamp do that before ever since I've lived here. Why, it's the Haunted History Walking Tour. The tour where we walk around haunted places. A special thank you to my All Access Pineapple Patrons. You know who you are because your name is on the screen. This week we're in Spring City, Utah, visiting a really cool little cemetery. This town was actually voted one of the cutest little towns in America by Forbes. Now back to that issue we had with the light in the living room. Do you think that spirits can follow you back from a location? Because I feel like something followed me back from this one. We're here outside Spring City and I just found this little abandoned homestead. How cool is that? I hope a snake doesn't get me. Very neat. So we just got here to Spring City. Spring City? Yep. And this is a very historic town. Uh, all the homes here. The whole town is on a historic register. Yeah, and once a year, the people of the town open their homes up and let you walk through. And every single house here has some kind of character to it, and I love it. Look at that. Look at this little store. That's cute. And, I mean, look at that house. That's beautiful. Didn't we go into that house? Maybe. Look at over here. Yeah, every year people open their homes up and let you tour through them. They we went through that one. I remember we went through this house. Yep. We went into the church. And this is the, the town church. That's an LDS church. It doesn't even look like it. But every every little home here has a little story. Love that. I remember going in. Together. Together. We went in there. We went in the soda fountain. Yeah. Oh, look at we that went in there. House. I remember getting pepper jelly on the. Mm -hmm. There's the German cafe. We mm -hmm. ate there, didn't we? Yep. And that little house. And Spring City has a fountain, a spring comes out. It's somewhere around here. I mean, there's just every house here is beautiful in its own little way. Definitely haunted. Pretty please, can you do me a little favor? Could you please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for when I upload, which is every week, and last but not least, hit the thumbs up button. If you can remember to do this on all of my videos, then I will become famous in three days. <laughs> Just kidding, I'll never be famous. Why is there like an easy bake oven crypt over there? They do their own cremations. Just park over here and see what it's about. Let's get out and look around. Let's take a look. Here we go. What is this tunnel? Is someone buried in here? Oh yeah. So this is their grave. We hope to meet again. I like that. 
can tell there was a, a gate here and it's gone. Interesting. Well, I've been to a lot of cemeteries. I haven't seen that one before. It's interesting. I do love this gate or this fence. That's really pretty. Love how poetic headstones were back in these days. Age 71 years, two months, and 17 days. Very, very specific. Tis hard to break the tender cord when love has bound the heart. Tis hard, so hard to speak the words. We must forever part. That is very sad. That is sad. When I go, I want a poem on my headstone, and I want it to be very, very dramatic. It's beautiful. Oh, this little guy's just tilted this way to us. Interesting. I like that. I haven't seen that. Let's look at this one. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this one. That's a tree stump. Barney, do you know why a lot of these have tree stumps back from this era? It signifies... Well, I mean, that could have been, but it signifies the cutting of a life being cut short. So they may... They might be, have been young, let's yeah, see. 1972. So that's why you'll see a lot of tree stumps in the early 1900s, late 1800s. That's a thing, who knew, right? Aiken, probably of no relation to Clay Aiken. What you doing tonight? Oh, I just love them. You normally don't see them in this good of condition from this time frame, but it's still holding up really well. Look at that, the pearly gates. Oh, they were a sailor, I like that. Again, this is Bronze, so cool. Spring City is a town that is filled with artists and artisans, craftsmen. So it makes sense that the headstones would be very, very intricate and very artistic out here. You know, Spring City is an artist colony. Whenever I go through these cemeteries out here in Utah, I wonder if I've helped make their headstone. I can tell if, I can tell by looking. So I haven't seen any yet. Those of you who don't know, when you're in the military and you die, the government sends you a niche like this, um, and you can, when you die, you have the option of getting one of these, or uh, you can get an actual bronze, you know, mark or something like that. This, well, yeah, exactly like that. So a 12 by 24 bronze marker. 
And a lot of families will already have a family headstone, so they'll just add this little niche on the back and just shows, you know, when they served. And so that's kind of cool. And this is laser etched into the granite. This was, this was quite a looker. Again, I have to get my book from Dan that shows the meanings of all of these symbols on these stones from the 1800s. But you can see just by looking out that there's a lot of iron in the water in this cemetery because all the white marble stones, limestone, it's all orange, you see. It's kind of cool. It's like a sepia tone. There's that handshake right there. This is part of the Mormon culture. This is something that you do when you're sealed in the temple, I believe. Let's see what else we can find. You wanna play chess? Ow. There's more headstones with that secret handshake in the clouds. It's definitely a, a Mormon thing. Oh, little lamb. Little Hollis. Look at that baby's little lamb. It's still got its little face on. Normally they don't make it that long. Intricate those flowers are. There's another little lamb. You can see they're just a baby. Weeping willow. You can see this one's damaged. This one's in pieces. I do like that they were able to save it and put it here in the metal and so that it's upright. A lot of times they'll just, you know, put it in a slab of cement and lay it on the ground, which I hate. So I like that they were able to keep this one upright. I was just telling them that you normally don't see them fix one and keep it upright like this in a brace. So that's nice. Like there's the, the gates to heaven right there. Just another Viking ship over there. Probably won't be able to use any of this because of the wind, but you can just see, I know, just look at all of the work that went into this. They took a chisel and hand etched. I mean, that's obviously that's how they did stuff back then. You don't see that anymore. So it's very, very neat. Wait, did I make this headstone? Did I? No, I didn't. I thought I did. Denmark. I noticed a lot of people from Denmark went to Missouri. Was that a thing? Let me know. When I used to work at Ancestry.com, a lot of people immigrate 
greatest share went to Missouri. It's a dream catcher. So many Aikens, Barney. Where's Clay Aiken? Clay Aiken, take us out. Sing your hit song, Invisible. Would you want a headstone that was just a natural stone like this? I like that. You want to say goodbye to everyone with me? Thanks for coming to Spring City Cemetery and visiting Spring City with us. Anything you want to say? Keep it. Keep it paranormal. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it paranormal. Ready? One, two, three. Keep, keep it, it paranormal. paranormal.